Hello, and welcome to the Transcript Templates screencast. This screencast will demonstrate setting up transcript templates. Let's say that you want to make sure that all of the new transcripts you create for a project use the same formatting so that they have a similar appearance. I'm now going to show you how to create a default transcript template that will be loaded automatically by Transana every time you create a blank transcript. To create a template, the first thing we need to do is to create a new blank transcript. To do that, right-click the episode and choose Add Transcript from the pop-up menu. You'll probably create your template as the first step in creating a real transcript, so you would want to name your transcript accordingly. Since I'm just demonstrating the process here and won't actually be using this transcript for this particular episode, I'm going to call mine Default Transcript Template. Now click OK to create a blank transcript. Next, put the transcript in edit mode so that we can change the transcript. I want to have a title at the top of each transcript I use. I'm going to start by specifying the formatting I want to use for that title. To do that, I'll click the Format Speed button in the Transcript Toolbar. On the Font tab, I'm going to specify that I want my title to be 16-point font, and that I want the title text to be bold. On the Paragraph tab, I'm going to select that my title should be centered and that there should be a half-inch space following my title. Now I'll click OK to indicate that I'm done formatting the title. It's important to recognize two things at this point. First, in Transana, formatting doesn't always get applied properly if there's no text in a formatted section when a transcript is loaded. Second, I might not be the only person using this template and might not always remember exactly what I included in my template, say six months from now. So I'm going to type the word title as an indication of what contents should go in this section of the transcript. On the second line of my transcript, I want to include the name of the media file being transcribed, but I don't want that information to be in 16-point bold centered text with a half an inch of space after the paragraph. So I need to go back to the formatting dialog by clicking on the Format Speed button. On the Font tab, I'll specify 10-point font, and I'll uncheck Bold Formatting. On the Paragraph tab, I'll specify Left Aligned Text with zero additional space following the paragraph. On the Tabs tab, I will first delete the default tab spacing, and then I'll specify a tab stop at 2 inches. Now I'll click OK to indicate that I'm done with my format specification. I'll type in a header, media file name, followed by a colon and a tab. I'll hit enter to go down to the next line. I also want to have the name of the person who does each initial transcript recorded as part of the file. So on this line, I'll type transcribed by, followed by a colon and a tab. I want there to be some blank space between this line and the start of my transcript, so once again, I'll press the format speed button. I'll go to the Paragraph tab, and I'll specify a quarter inch of space following this paragraph. Now I'll press OK, correct my <coughs> text, and hit Enter to go to the next line. Here on line 4 is where I want to actually start my transcript. Let's set up the formatting 
Once again, I'll press the Format Speed button. On the Font tab, I'll specify 12 point as the font size. On the Paragraph tab, I'll set the left indent to 2 inches. I'll set the first line indent to negative 2 inches so that my paragraph text hangs out to the left. And I'll specify my spacing after the paragraph as a quarter of an inch. On the Tabs tab, I'll add a tab at one and a quarter inches, and I'll leave the tab at two inches in place. I'll then press OK to indicate that I'm done formatting the text. As you'll recall, I use the first space on each line for a time code. I could put a time code at the start of the media file into my transcript template, but some of the media files don't actually begin until further into the media file, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'll just press tab here. You'll also recall that the speaker identifier should be placed after the first tab in the way I set up my transcripts. Here, I'll type a placeholder for my speaker identifier, and then I'll press tab again. Finally, I want to indicate that the transcript text goes after the final tab, and I want to make sure I have some text to retain the formatting in my template, so I'll type in another placeholder here. Now that my template is set up the way that I want it, I need to save it in a way that Transana will know to use it as a template for all of the new transcripts that I create from now on. To do that, I'll choose File, Save Transcript As to indicate that I want to export my template as an external file. I'm also going to change the Save As type to XML format, as this is a file that I only intend to load in Transana, and I want to take advantage of the faster file loading times possible by using the XML format. From this point, you have two choices. If you want to have multiple template files, for example, having slightly different templates for different projects or different types of data files, you can save your document with a name that indicates the function of the template. If you choose that option, you'll need to remember to import the template when you create a new transcript object. Your other option is to create a default template a template that Transana will load automatically if no file is specified for import when creating a new transcript. To do this, all you need to do is give your XML or RTF file the name default, and save that file in the directory that you've specified as your video root directory. Now that I've saved my template as an external file, I can go ahead and delete the template transcript from Transana if I don't intend to use it for the episode I created it under. I don't need to save the template before I delete it. Now I'm going to create a new episode and transcript in Transana to demonstrate that our default template is working properly. Here on the Add Transcript form, you can see down at the bottom the place where you would specify the name of your template file if you're not using a default template. I recommend browsing to the file rather than simply typing in the name, as that way you can be sure that Transana is looking in the right directory for the file that you want to load. But I'm going to leave that space blank in the form, and as a result, Transana we'll look for and load the default template we saved in our video root directory earlier. I'll just type in the transcript ID and press OK. As you can see, Transana automatically loaded our default transcript template. It looks exactly like we set it up, and now we're ready to go.